Hello, gathered friends, I'm Roar Nuva, and welcome back to Bionicle Deep Dive, where we analyze the tropes, characters, and lore of LEGO Bionicle. In this video, I want to take a look at the Paraka, and some of the significance behind their characters, particularly how, in many ways, each of them is the thematic opposites of the Toa. A while back, I remember there were some headcanons that the Paraka represented the seven deadly sins of Christianity. Some of them lined up okay, but some didn't make any sense. In addition, there was no way LEGO would actively delve into religion like that. However, while thinking about it, I came up with an idea that might actually have ground in the intentions of the writers. The Paraka were meant to be the antithesis of the Toa of their respective elements. Let's dive right into it. So, Toa of Fire are known to be very courageous, bold, honorable, and of a strong sense of duty. Hakan is sneaky, cowardly, and treacherous beyond reason. He will literally betray anyone given half a chance, even if it goes against his own interest in the long run, such as when he turned on Thok before even reaching the staircase to the Ignika. Toa of Water are calm and peacemaking. They don't like conflict and rarely resort to violence, preferring reason and discussion. Vizak is explosively violent and will kill and fight just for the heck of it, having no hesitation to tear into his teammates when he's angry or feeling paranoid that they'll turn on him. Though, that's not exactly unfounded paranoia. Toa of Earth, despite their massive strength, prefer to use their heads in a situation. They're deep thinkers and only use their power when necessary. Redak is the opposite. He loves using brute force, despite actually being brilliant and a tactician and a skilled tracker, simply because it's more fun to cause destruction. They both have brains and brawn, but Toe of Earth prefer to use brains, while Redak prefers to use brawn. Toe of Stone are strong, dependable, and direct. Avak is untrustworthy relatively physically weak, and always tries to deal with his problems in an indirect manner. He relies heavily on technology and hates getting his hands dirty. Even his power is built around not dealing with things directly, just trapping his opponents for later. Toa of Air are lighthearted and comical. They love making jokes and tend not to take things as seriously as they should. Zaktan might be the single most serious character in all of Bionicle. He doesn't smile. He's never made a single joke or even a sarcastic comment. Heck, even Kopaka has a sense of humor, but not Zaktan. He's dead serious about finding the mask of life and doesn't accept any distractions. He even considered killing his teammates just because he didn't think they were being serious enough about their mission. Toa of Ice take great pride in being very independent, solving their problems on their own. Going to others for help doesn't come naturally to them, and they're not particularly very skilled when it comes to social interactions. Thok, on the other hand, constantly relies on others to do his dirty work. He's a master of using sly words to manipulate others into taking all the risks, and had set up his under-the-table alliances with each of the other Paraka in order to get them to think he's on his side. Even his power, bringing inanimate objects to life, works for this theory, because he brings other things to life to fight for him instead of fighting his own battles. Heck, this theory even works for Vizon if you compare him to Takanuva. The seventh Toa was a figure of hope prophesied since the time before time. He was destined, always meant to be. The seventh Paraka, on the other hand, is an abomination born of a freak accident. He was never really supposed to exist, and now that he does, spreads madness and chaos. Even his color scheme is an inverse of a toe of light, being black and silver as opposed to white and gold. In addition, he has a connection to the water member of his team, being split off from Vizak, which can be contrasted with the deep psychic bond that Takua formed with Gali. So yeah, we can definitely see that the Paraka are all inversions of the heroic Toa of their respective elements. Making their pretending to be Toa to fool the Matoran of Voyanui all the more ironic. This actually plays to a larger recurring theme of that arc, which is that Voyanui is in many ways a dark reflection of the island of Dematanui, having all the same basic elements but twisted in a way to make them a nightmare 
rather than a paradise. I'll definitely revisit that large topic in a future vis video. But that's my take on how the Paraka were essentially the antithesis of the Toa we're used to seeing. What do you guys think? Do you like this idea, or you, do you interpret it differently? Let me know in the comments, and I'll see you guys soon. Take care, my gathered friends.